fast and furious, the annual Goodwood Racing Extravaganza revs up the passion of sports car lovers by bringing together high-end cars from across the world. Since its inception in 1993, the festival has navigated its way to become one of the most prestigious events in the motorsports calendar. A mix of vehicles are making their debut here by taking on the famous hill climb, a challenging course nearly two kilometers long. Oh, what is new? There's new things every year when you come to Goodwood. Whether it's new partners coming in and showcasing their brand stories, new celebrations of vehicles, uh, new launches of cars. I think we've launched 11 cars this morning, obviously embracing the EV revolution and evolution. And, and that's something we do on the hill and obviously through our sort of commercial storytelling. Under the theme, Horseless to Hybrid Revolutions in Power, the event aims to celebrate the evolution of the motoring industry. One shining exhibit, this car from Durham University runs entirely on solar power and can reach speeds of 130 kilometers an hour. Quite a lot of the work that we put into our Toyota car can be transferred into most automotive vehicles. In the same way that the technologies in F1 eventually trickle down to um, road cars, in the same, uh, you can kind of take that philosophy with us as well. We're, we're learning different techniques, different innovative ideas and philosophies, and taking that into the future, into our workplaces, is going to be uh, pivotal into, in, into the future. As spectators revel in the exhilarating spectacle of speed, some are on a mission to illuminate the hidden menace of tire dust, which is the second largest microplastic pollutant. And this shows how much the tire dust an electric vehicle produces on a daily basis. Tire wear is becoming a more heavily regulated field, so the same regulations that have been uh, imposed onto tailpipe emissions are now being translated to tire wear and, uh, and brake wear as well. So in the near future, these mandates will vehicle manufacturers will need solutions to actually reduce this. What we develop is the devices that are attached behind the wheel. It's kind of a box that sits behind the wheel and as you're driving, the particles are generated, are charged from friction with the road and are entrained into the device and we capture it using electrostatics. From the nostalgic allure of the vintage horseless carriages to the modern and futuristic electric and solar cars, the event has borne witness to the progress the auto industry has made over the past 130 years. Now, as the climate change looms large, the pressing question is, where do we go from here? Li Jianhua, CGTN, Goodwood Park, Southern England.